Hi, Martin. I need your help. Sure, Lan. What's up? So I have built a report in Looker, which is a business intelligence and big data analytics platform in Google Cloud. Another team that I work with use BigQuery, which is a data warehouse in Google Cloud. So I need to export the data in my Looker report to BigQuery. Well, Google Cloud functions are great for integrating systems like this. Let's try it out. Uh, before we start, uh, maybe you can tell me a bit more about Looker's functionality, since you are the Looker expert, Lan. Sure, I would love to. In Looker, we have the Actions Hub, which is a feature that lets you send data from Looker to third-party product. We call it Actions because we believe in empowering companies to take useful actions after data analysis. For example, after analyzing data on customers who are likely to churn, we can send them an email or a text message to bring them back. OK, that sounds great, Lan. Uh, so for this use case, uh, the action you want to do is send data from Looker to BigQuery? Yes, Martin. I have my data in transactional processing databases. After doing some light analysis using SQL statements of that data in Looker, I want to send the result to BigQuery. Got it. How do these Looker actions work? So I need two URLs to create a new action. The first URL should return the name and icon for the actions in JSON. Looker will use that to display the action in the user interface. That makes sense. Uh, it would be easy to create a Cloud function that returns a hard-coded JSON object. And now, uh, you said there was a second function. Uh, what would that one do? So the second URL should do the actual work. Looker will make an HTTP POST request to that URL with the user-selected data in the body. The code behind that URL should receive that data and write it to BigQuery. Ah, I see. Uh, Cloud Functions are great at receiving HTTP requests and extracting any data in the body. Our Cloud Function uh, could then call the BigQuery API to insert the data into BigQuery. Easy peasy. Can the Cloud Function run out of memory or timeout? Cloud Functions will automatically provide an auto-scaled HTTPS endpoint for each function we write. And the second generation of Cloud Functions lets your code use up to 16 gigabytes of memory and run for up to one hour. That's great, Martin. That gets our hands dirty. We are writing two functions. The first function will tell Looker about the action's name and icon, plus the URL of the second function. The second function will write the data to BigQuery. I would like to deploy the second function first so that I get the URL to it. Makes sense. Uh, do you have the code for it? Yes, I wrote it up in Python. Looker will send a post request to it and include metadata in the payload, including the download URL, which is a one-time link to download the data. My code will open the download URL, save the data that comes back as a CSV file, and store it on Cloud Function temporary disk. All right, and now that the CSV file is on disk, we can call BigQuery's Python client library to load that CSV file into a BigQuery table. And now that we have the complete code, let me click here to create a new Cloud function. I'll pick Python as my language and then paste our code here. Then I click here to deploy the function. It will take a minute for the deployment to finish. When it's done, I will get a URL back, and anyone who hits that URL will run the code we just entered up in the cloud. Now I will write the function that tells Looker about our new action. It will declare and return a dictionary, which includes the configuration for the action in Looker's user interface, such as name for the action, what data format it can take, URL for the icon, and most importantly, the URL to the function we wrote a minute ago, the one that actually writes to BigQuery. OK, I'm pasting the URL into the code uh, you sent to Milan. Let's deploy this function. Uh, all right, uh, is this the final step, Lan? Not quite, Martin. We need to install this action in Looker itself. We are heading to Looker, Admins, Action, and then add the URL of our function right here. The action has been installed. 
Great. Now, anyone on the internet can call R2 functions. Uh, how does Looker handle security? Looker can send a secret key to our function, kind of like a password. We can validate that key in our code. If the request does not have the right key, we can ignore it. But the key may change, so I don't want to hard code it into our functions. No problem. We can put the key in Secret Manager and read it from there. So if the key changes in the future, we'll just update it in Secret Manager and we won't have to deploy a new version of our code. So how does a Cloud Function read secrets from the Secret Manager? Cloud Functions can either mount secrets as volumes and read them as virtual files or read them as environment variables. Uh, let's use the environment variable method here. Excellent. I will add this extra logic to our function. It compares a secret key that Luca sent with the one from the secret manager. All right. Our functions are now locked down. So they only run if the caller provides the right key. And we know that Looker will. Yeah. Let me see if our new action is working. I will try sending this table which has around 1 million rows of BigQuery. This will take a little while. Should we refill our tea and meet back here in five minutes? Let's do it. And we are back. I can now see my data right here in BigQuery. It took around five minutes to transfer the one million record. Wow, no, it's bad. Uh, that's a little over 3,000 records per second. This is so great. I love how Cloud Function brings us all together, just like a good meal. <laughs> You're making me hungry, Lan. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have any questions for Lan or me about uh, Looker Actions, or you have any suggestions for future episodes, please let us know in the comments. Until next time. Mm -hmm.